What's going on traders? This is Jack with the Trading Tribe. Welcome back on the channel for another video. Today we are going to go through using a tool called Bookmap directly within your Thinkorswim platform. And I wanted to show this because this is a tool that really helps kind of look under the scenes and see really what's happening. If you're looking on like a candlestick chart when you're trading, it can be kind of difficult to have some context as to how many buyers there are, how many sellers there are, what like aggression is at that level. And Bookmap is a tool that we use for order flow to actually see right who are the aggressive participants in the market. So it's a really, really nice way to kind of get behind the scenes get to understand who are those large market orders. Are they buyers? Are they sellers? And it can really help you understand a key level, understand what's happening at that key level. And then of course, right, you can use it to help your trading, whether that is to enhance your entries or to enhance your exits, right? It's something that you can use and, and you can use it directly within Thinkorswim. I actually did use this today on an ES trade here. So I will open up my active trader. I'm up about 2.75 grand in this account um, with ES and I actually used Bookmap today. So it's actually a perfect example here um, of using the tool. And first off, you do have to reach out to Thinkorswim's support team. So you can click support up at the top right of your Thinkorswim panel, and you can reach out to their support desk and have them turn on the trial to book map. And within just a couple minutes, what they'll do is they'll basically add this button here within your charts tab for book map. And so very, very simple. They have kind of a free version, which includes ES, um, which is the futures contract to actually use Bookmap for primarily. And then you can upgrade to like a $39 a month version, I believe, which includes all assets. So if you wanted to use this for stocks or for other futures um, or for options, right, you can use um, that pro version, if you will, for $39 a month. In this case, I will go over here. We'll first look at just ES in this case, right? ES has been really just in a range this week. We've kind of been bouncing at this um, demand zone. And then we have general highs of about 57.55, which we actually just currently broke out, which looks great. So this was kind of a supply area, but now we are seeing a break above it. So it looks like we are kind of picking back up on a trend but what i noticed was we were in a range before this move where when it came down to 5680 historically this week that's been a pretty good area to buy right we've had some really nice bounces off that demand zone and what i was able to do last night was i was able to use bookmap to basically confirm that and so if we come over to this book map tab, we can put in our ticker symbol up here at the top left. So in this case, I have ES entered in there. And what this is, is this is basically time stamped, very similar to our candlestick chart. And then what it, what it allows you to do is it allows you to put these key levels just like you can on your chart on book map. So we can kind of focus in on certain prices essentially for ES. We can see the volume at each price. And so these are the filled orders at each price, which is pretty cool. So it shows us almost like a volume profile per price. Um, and then it also shows these bubbles. And these bubbles are essentially market orders. If they're a red bubble, it's essentially a market seller, um, which is typically someone getting in short um, aggressively, right? They don't care about the price. They're just hitting sell market. Um, they could also be buyers that are covering, but the red bubbles are um, sells, and then the green bubbles are aggressive buyers, whether that is a buyer covering a short or a true buyer hoping for price to go up. These large green bubbles show aggressive buyers. And then, of course, the size of these bubbles essentially is the size of the order. So you'll see when volume is really big, we're seeing some really, really big bubbles, 
when volume is pretty little, right? We're seeing some little bu bubbles, but we'll still see, you know, there were still 800 contracts traded at this price at this time. And so still really, really good detail to kind of see here. And we can see, right, it got down to that key level that we talked about, that 5680 area on the chart. I'll go back to the chart here and we can see at 5680, I was extremely interested yesterday at kind of the end of the session just because we had a really nice bounce off that level the day before and then the day before that as well. So really, really good area to buy based on the week. And so I was focused in on kind of what reaction we'd have off that level. And we can see, right, we had some balance, right? We had some big sells, we had some big buys, but essentially we did hold. So we held this level with massive buying, massive selling. So think of it as the market was balanced, essentially. There were kind of big, big people on both sides, but we didn't break under the level, right? We kind of held this level for 30 minutes or so. Then at about 4 p.m. Central, right, the futures market closes for an hour, we pick back up at 5 p.m. Central, and we'll notice, right, more buyers, right, and more buyers. And this other line is VWAP, which is nice. You can have your intraday VWAP in here. Um, but you can see, right, throughout the night, right, we, we ended up getting more and more green aggressive buying. And that really did drive the price from this bottom key level to this top key level of course we've gotten up to this supply area and we've continued to go up so there are still aggressive buyers which is awesome so this really is just a tool um, it's not like it's going to come up to these levels and fail and bounce perfectly but it does give you some really nice context to structure trades for my trade specifically i will show trades here um I was able to get in essentially and then get out towards that key level or supply area. So I was able to scalp about 40 points off of ES for this um, demand hold essentially or this range trade. And I was able to use book map in order to spot that aggressive buying stepping in, um, that key level hold. And hopefully this makes sense. This is how I will typically use book map just to kind of confirm what's actually happening behind the scenes and give a little bit more information than you get with a just standard candlestick chart. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. If you like this video, also hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And we will be back next time. Thanks, everyone.